Hey. Well, I'm glad to see you're okay. The security system wants some kind of password to get into the warehouse. So you got it working. I wonder why it wouldn't turn on for me. What did it ask for, exactly? It asked for the fourth word of the Dark Triangle Coffee mission statement. Any idea what that is? Of course, it wants you to watch the video. The info you're after is on a videotape. But it is chock full of government brainwashing. I watched a bit of it. It was doing something to me. It's oh, dangerous. No. You can't watch that tape. I need that videotape, Sheriff. Well, this is exactly how they get you. But fine. If you really want it, I hit it in the Ferris wheel, cup number four. You'll need this key. Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay. So we need to rotate until we get to number four. So this is why we need E. Oh, so he said he hit a number four. If this is six, isn't four like, like just like right there? Like what? It's not that. Oh, it's gonna go all the way around. Okay, that makes more sense. So this should only be a couple away. Nine, ten, eleven. Wait a second. <laughs> Twelve. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay. Very curious what happens if you stop it on a different one. So, you up for a movie? Can we, can we do this again? I'm very curious. Let's stop this on a different one. Is there anything in these other ones, I wonder? Nah, eh, probably not. We're not going to stop it 11 more times. I'm not that interested to find out if there's something on the Ferris wheel. There probably is something hidden there. Video. So we need the fourth word in the mission statement. It's probably control. Dark Triangle Coffee is a fast-growing company with ambitions to sweep the nation and eventually the globe with our out-of-this-world beverages. Drawn by our coffees. You see the little flash on the screen. So there is subliminal messages here. mission statement is simple to drink the truth Thanks. truth that's what we need one password Our is truth now we can hey, what is something is become coffee <laughs> nice In my head. please you need to got what we needed the fourth word of the mission statement can we tell him truth let's get back to that warehouse it's truth that video was doing something to me if you hadn't been there what would have happened 
What is this agency trying to do here? Control people? Ah, there it is. <laughs> but why? What's their plan? What if my brother has already been... Become no. coffee? I didn't come all this way to lose him now. Okay. I didn't know if we could talk to him again, so... I give a shot. My brother has become coffee! Like all of you who watched the video. They're all going to be coffee now. Speaking of which, if you could become coffee, what kind of brand of coffee would you be? I don't drink coffee, so I'm just probably going to go with a basic dark roast. So that's pretty much the only coffee I know. <laughs> I don't drink coffee. Join us, make the world coffee. All right. Truth. Please recite the fourth word of Dark Triangle Coffee's mission statement. As seen in our orientation... Drink the occasional iced coffee. Nice. Truth. That is correct. Further verification required. Please recite the optimal roasting temperature for Dark Triangle Coffee. Favorite brand is Mule 2... I don't know what that is. Local coffee makers, that's nice. Correct temperature. 180. 180? That is incorrect. Okay, so now we gotta figure out the temperature, which is Do we have to watch the video some more? I bet I can find the temperature I need at that roasting bar. Okay, the roasting bar, yeah. The optimal roasting temperature. You don't happen to know, do you? It means pure two, okay. I don't think so. That's cool. Like I said, I know, I know basically nothing about coffee. The dude got wrecked. I've loitered in enough coffee shops to recognize a roasting machine. Let's check this out. Some of our triangle. The temperature is more than the sum of our triangle. Oh God, we got to do math. Okay. So it's a, uh, it's a perfect triangle because you have 60, 60, and 60. So all these edges will be the same. We just need to figure out the distance. What is the closest to the distance? Okay. This is like being back in school. The first digit of our optimal roasting temperature is half the second and the third digit is one less. Oh, time to break out the notebook. We're doing math. We're doing math again. Okay. So. So. We'll say the first digit is A. Is. Equal to half, half B. And the third is w one less than the one before. So, s wait. And then C equals B minus one. Okay. So now we just need to figure out what each of those are. Prime. Prime what? Prime number? Okay. Optimal roasting temperature is below 500. Okay. So it is less than 500. There's also the number of light years between Earth and planet X13. Okay. It's a prime number. Okay. All right, hold on. We got a note here. Angle of the triangles. Prime numbers. One, two, one, two, four, three. Oh, okay. I see. That. Yeah. Wait. That can't be. But it's an equilateral triangle, so all the numbers would be the same. 
Optimal is greater than the sum of our triangle. Oh, maybe they just mean angle? So it's greater than 180? Greater than 180. Okay. So it's greater than 180, but less than 500. I was like, wait, it's, it, it's equal, right? Like, all these sides would be exactly the same. That's what happens when you have three of the same. Uh, the interior of a triangle always equals 180. So... Okay, so now... Alright, so let's see. What information do we have? Okay, we've got the we've got this. First digit is half of the second. Okay. And the third is one less than the second. Secret is in the roast. This is below. The number is also of light years between Earth and 500 number, okay, prime number. Okay, so if it's a prime number, that means it can't be divided by anything, right? That's what prime numbers are, I believe. Let me look that up. Prime numbers number is a natural number greater than one that is not a product of two smaller numbers yes okay it's named like that because they have their own shop on the piers their combination of being oh okay that's kind of cool all right so they're numbers that can't be divided by anything well that doesn't even make sense because the <laughs> by having this statement here no, I guess you could have half of something without it being. But four, no, because it can't be four, because four is not a prime number. Yeah, all, all the things that could be divided by two would, wouldn't be prime numbers. So that doesn't make sense. Because a prime number is something that can't be divided. Like, it can only be one in itself. So you have, like, two, three, five, seven. Because we're only going single digits. Yeah. Two, three, five, and seven are the only ones that would be a prime number. So... Okay, but 2 is the only one that can be divided a half and be a prime number. So, the first digit is half of the second. So, the first number has to be 1, the second number has to be 2, and... Wait, they tried 1, 2, 1, though. It was on their sheet. It's half the second. Because that's the only number that can be divided in half evenly is 2, because if you divide 2 in half, that gives you 1. So the first number is half of the second. So half of 2 would be 1. And the third digit is 1 less than the one before. Which would be 1 again. So, but they wrote on the paper that 1, 2, 1 doesn't work. Right? Right here. And this doesn't work because it's not a prime number. Right? Because you would have one, two, one. Right? I guess they only hire mathematicians here. Is there something on... Is there another hint here somewhere? I feel like there should be something else. Okay. Because, let me double check, but I don't believe 4 is a prime number, which would be the only one. Yeah, it's 2, 3, 5, 7, and the next one isn't till 11, but it can't be a two-digit number. So it has to be 2. 
So maybe it's one, two, zero? No, that doesn't make sense because it's because it's a triangle. Doesn't seem right. Optimal roasting temperature was greater than the sum of our triangle. All the sides would be the same, I thought, because it would be equilateral, right? Because, like, it, it, uh, you can't do, like, the Pythagorean theorem because you would need a 90-degree angle. None of these are 90. So... And there's no indicator on what the length of a side would be. So... It's greater than 180... And lower than 500. But how can you get a prime number that's... The only one that makes sense is 2. Because that's the only prime number you can do... For this, this part. The half of the second. Because you can't you can't cut five and a half, that would give you two point five. You can't cut seven and a half, that would give you three point five. But it has to be higher than one eighty. So okay, let me write down our prime numbers. Maybe I'm missing something obvious here. So it's two, three, five, seven. Those are the, the numbers that we can have. But we know it can't start with 5. So it can't start with 5. So A cannot equal 5 or 7. Right? It can't equal 5 or 7 because that would be over 500. So it can't be that. And B, okay, B and C, let's see. What can B and C, what can we eliminate here? So the first number has to be two or three. But half of three is 1.5, which doesn't make sense. No, hold on. So no, A would have to be, so it'd be double that. But that still wouldn't make sense because it's not a prime number. Okay, so this is where I'm getting confused. Are all of the numbers prime or just the first number? Right? But see, this is the problem. This is this clue doesn't help because it's like it's a it's a prime number. What's a prime number? The whole equation, like the answer we come up with, is a prime number. In which case, holy crap, right? <laughs> that means we have access to all all of the numbers between one and nine. So I guess the final number has to be a prime number. Is the only way that we get that. Okay, let's see. A plus B plus C. A plus B plus C. Oh, but that would be greater than 180. Is what you're saying. Greater than the sum of our triangle. Okay, so we have A plus B plus C is greater than 180. And then for this one, where's it at? Where's the, I think it's the second one here. And then for this, the first digit 
is half of the second. So A is equal to one half B, right? Because half of B would equal A. So, and then the third number is C is equal to B minus one. So we have to find a prime number greater than 180, less than 500, while using these. Is there anything we can solve for? Yes. Okay, so with the ABC equation, we can solve for some stuff. So we can solve for B in both of these. So this would become A, 2A equals B. And this would become C plus 1 equals B. Well, that wouldn't help us. Actually, we'll leave, we'll leave C alone. Because we can, we can move that back in our equation. So that would be... Oh, no, we could just supp substitute these in. I'm just doing this in a weird way. So the first one would be 1 half B plus B plus B minus 1. And that's got to be greater than 180. Okay. So... Let's see. So that would be B over 2 plus 2B minus 1. We'll just say equals 180 for now. Or I guess greater than 180. It's still fine there. But uh, okay. So the first thing's first. We need to subtract or add 1, which is 181. So 181 is... B over 2 plus 2B. Two okay. And then if we multiply everything by 2, I think I might be doing this B over 2 thing wrong. Um, but let me, let me double check. I got a calculator. So, if we multiply everything by that. 181 times 2 is 362. So that would be B plus 4B greater than 362. So could 362 be divided by 5? 5, 5, 5. No, it can't. Okay, so I did do something wrong. It's probably with this half. The wording on this is always the thing that trips us up. So the first digit is half the second. So it would be A over 2. So it would be 2B. That's what I was getting wrong. Okay. It, it's 2B, not half B. So 2B plus 2B. Okay, so is 181 divided by 4? 181 divided by... Oh, clear all that. 181 divided by 4. That doesn't work either. Wait, no. Yeah, it'd be 4B. Then you would add 1. See, I think I'm writing our initial equations wrong. Don't know if it has a higher digit than 180 if you're only allowed. Yeah. So I think I'm writing these wrong. I think that's, that's where I'm messing up. I think it's... Okay. The first digit is half the second. So A is half of B. That see that that's that's where I'm getting tripped up is they've done this before in one of their word problems where the wording is what messes it up. Um and the third is one less than the one before. So C would be B minus one, right? So So it would be B over 2.
Do I have Tormented Souls? Yes. Yes, I do. Um, okay. So, my initial equations were right. So, how do we get... Because if we do substitution, that doesn't work. We come up with... No matter what we do, we come up with a weird number. So there's something... There's something we're missing in all of this. The secret is in the roast. That's... Bolded. Is there... Is there something on the roast? Dark, there's there's eight ounces. There's got to be a hint or something, right? I, I feel like this is... Because, like, okay. So we're going to read each of these notes. First note says... Uncover the mysterious uh, uh, ineffable essence behind the cup of Dark Triangle's unique roast. More than the sum of its parts. The optional roasting temperature, which is greater than the sum of our triangle. Which, that is confusing already. Because, technically, a sum of a triangle could be the sum of its sides or the sum of its angles. Now, this is different. So if you look at the writing here, it says sum of our angle in red. However, this says triangle. So this is actually uh, a mistake. This should just say try and then angle should be bold in order to match that. That's how we get the 180, right? So that we have to go off of this, not this. So I think that's part of the problem. The secret is in the roast. See, why is roast bolded, right? Why is roast bolded? And this one does the bolding correctly. Join us, the percolation. And then finally, prime is bolded. And this says 500 degrees Fahrenheit, which technically it's... It, that's actually written wrong, by the way. The degree is supposed to be next to the 500 before the F, but they spell it out, which is fine. I don't mind them spelling it out. And then it says number of light years between. Okay. So prime number less than 500, below 500. See, what should have what should have been actually bolded is below 500, not just 500, because it just says prime number 500 right so bold below is not even bolded but she audibly said um that uh it's 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 below 500 so it all equals no it's less than okay so there are two equations that are um what are they called basically it's when you use equal then equal to greater than or less than when you use any of those it's 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 one of those so it's um yes a plus b plus c is less than 500 but greater than 180 right so you, you way you would write that here I'll, I'll type it in chat so the way you would write that is um 180 is less than a plus b plus c which is less than 500 that's how you would write that 